Hello and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your timing belt on this Renault Clio. This is a 2014 Reg. So first what we're going to do is we're going to remove these 10 mil bolts. There's quite a few of them and take this under tray off and I've got T30 Torx just to remove those ones. So we're going to take this cover off and we need to take this actually wheel trim as you can see off completely. We're going to have to take the wheel off as well. So the bolt to remove the crank is literally to lock the crank, should I say. It's literally up here. I'm going to put a picture in the description to show what it looks like. So it's literally located just up here. And as you can see, the gearbox is there and the engine is sunk on this side. So it's at the top of that, just up there. So now we're going to remove the wheel, as you can see. And we're going to remove this cover, wheel arch cover, just so we can gain more access to the belt. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So as you can see, so we're gonna remove these little rubber bits as you see that's holding it. This is just pull them out. And see there's another one there. We've got a T20, just remove that screw there as you can see. And then the whole thing will come out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. This you just gotta get something underneath these, underneath them to pop them up. So as you can see, so literally I just get like fly like this for like so clip. So literally just go underneath it like so, grab hold of the middle of it and pull forward. Like so. And it just comes straight out. You just do that to all of them. And once they're all out, you literally just take this cover out. Remember to remove that screw down there. Let's just pull it out. So, and there we are, and as you can see, we can see our auxiliary belt there, we're going to need to remove that. As you can see, there's a tensioner there as well, so we're going to have to release that tensioner to take that belt off. And we're going to take this bracket off as well, so you can see it's a 13 mil socket to go on that. And then we're going to have to literally remove the crankshaft, actually pulley. But before we do that, let's take the belt off first. So we're going to use a 13 mil socket to remove that one, and that one's 18 mil. Literally, don't worry about it; it won't fall down. You just take that bolt or pull this off out completely. Then you can put the bolt back in if you want. As you can see, now we've got access to the pulley. So now, as you can see, so it's a 16 mil socket. Just the bar, as you can see, when you push the pulley up, the actual tensioner up, you see the belt actually releases. As you can see, and you can just literally just pull it off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Ready you go. Oh, baby. As you can see, so just push that up, just pull the belt off completely, drop the pulley back. Off. I'm going to just take that. We're going to replace. We're replacing that auxiliary belt as well. 
see. All the way up there. Just to remove it from the alternator. As you can see, that's all off now. So now we're going to remove that bolt. As you can see, this is a star socket. As you can see it's an E14 to remove that bolt up there that when you take out to fit the actual locking pin for the crank. So we're going to remove that first. Okay, so now I'm going to remove it as you can see where my socket is up there. That's where it's located. The only reason why I can't show it to you is because of the angle. But as I said, there will be a picture of what it looks like. I'm just going to show what it looks like now, as you can see. This is what it looks like. I don't know if I can get this camera up there to show you. Tricky. And as you can see, this is the actual locking pin that goes in there. So this one goes all the way in. And as you can see, it's got thread on it. So you're going to screw it into a locking place and lock the crank and stop it from moving. So now we're going to remove the crank shaft pulley. Okay, now we're going to remove that tensioner as you can see it's a 13 mil well and now i'm going to remove that and take this up completely just so we've got more access to take that cover off See, comes out. There's a slot in there where that is slots back into as well. As you can see, and what's holding this cover is just like little clips. See, they just open like that. There's another one up here. Let's push them open. Now, just make sure you put a jack underneath the sump to support the engine. But when you take the engine mount off. As you can see, the engine mounts up here, so I'm going to remove that. It's like 16 mil bolts. I'm going to remove those. Get these fuel lines off. The R pressure pump. And take this 10 mil off from the air pump pipe. And there's another one down there. And then we'll start removing all of this. But first, support the engine with a jack. As you can see, I've got one over there.
can see. I'm gonna have to drop the engine now. So let's get to remove this and make sure we don't damage the fuel lines. So remove this 10 mil. Also another 10 mil down there. Now we're just gonna remove the clips as you can see on here. Which is just lift them up to take them off. There's also some more down there, so we're gonna have to remove the ones down there, and there's also some other ones there, and then the old cover comes off. see I've undone the clips now so this should realistically come out away from the pipes as you can see the cover's not off so I need to get it out of the way and we're gonna have to take this bracket out as you can see it's got some 10 mil bolts in it that needs to be removed and take this bracket off as you can see as well now you can disconnect that cover as well, take all the clips off. I've already removed it from the bottom, so let's just drop it down. That one should come out underneath. Like so, as you can see. As you can see, now just take that out completely. Break the pipes on the way out. There we go. Out of the way. You can see, now we can see the belt clearly. Now we're going to line up the crank as you can see, that hole in there. You can see it from here, but literally. We're going to line that hole up around here. So now, as you can see, it has to be lined up with that hole there. As you can see, and then put a pin in it, just to lock it in place. Then we're going to insert the crank pin and just check that it's locked. As you can see, I've literally just put like a big bolt in there. That'll hold it there. Now we're going to put that pin in. So now, underneath the vehicle, we're going to insert this tool. As you can see, the engine's now locked. And it's also locked up here as well. So we're going to go ahead and move that tensioner down there, as you can see. And start removing that belt. I'm going to also need to remove that cover, this plastic cover. As you can see, it's here. Remove the water pump just down there. So, as you can see, I've now taken out the tensioner. Now, I'm going to have to take that cover off because, as you can see. This is the water pump down here that needs to be removed. This one here, as you can see that one right there, but the light's been shone on right there. As you can see, you need to remove that, but this cover needs to come off of these eight more bolts. I'll go ahead and remove that cover. As you can see, now I've taken all the bolts off the cover. This is the cover that needs to come out. Get the water pump out. As you can see, that's the water pump down there with the bolts. Gonna remove that now, let the rest of the water drain out. As you can see, the water pump is just draining off the water, then I'm literally going to remove it completely. So make sure you've got a tray underneath. Okay, so you can see that's the water pump. I'm going to take that off and literally, obviously, clean the surface, lift it the new one, and remove 
cinta See, this is the new unit in the fit now. So we need to also get this ceiling to pull as well. So as you can see the new water pump is now in. As you can see that blue stuff is a silo that's around it. So as you can see on this belt we've got a mark there. You can see that mark there, that needs to line up with the actual cam crank right in the middle there. And then I'm just going to show you something else. You can see there's two other marks here. There's one for the camshaft and there's one there for the high pressure fuel pump. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. You'll be able to see for yourself. Just make sure before you put the belt on, as you can see, that cover, to put that cover back on after you fit the water pump. You can see the cover is on, it's just three 8 mil bolts, literally two at the top and one down there at the bottom. And then now you can put the belt on. I'm going to show you how you do that. So now we're going to put the tensioner in. As you can see, it's got a slot there where it slots in. And this, when you, you are actually adjusting the tensioner to lock it, you're going to need this pin to be in between this gap here in the middle, which is going to show you. As you can see, there's a groove down there. That's where that needs to slot into. As you can see what I'm saying about lining up the belt, as you can see it's going to line up with the line there and this one is literally going to line up with that one as well. As long as you line up the ones at the bottom, then they should fit perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to adjust the tension. So as you can see, see they're now lined up, including that one there as well. It's still locked there, so the tension is there. We're going to adjust that in a minute. I'll show you at the bottom as well. It's a line up down there as well. So now what you're going to need to do is get an Allen key to put in that slot down there. You're going to need to adjust the adjuster, like I said before, into the middle of that, and then you're going to tighten that 30 mil bolt, and then release the Allen key, and it should stay in place. The tension the belt. So as you can see, it's a six mil Allen key, and what you need to do is literally you're going to need to slot it in there, and literally you're going to turn it until the adjuster gets into the middle of that and then you need to lock the 13mm let's demonstrate for you so it literally needs to be there and then you're going to lock the 13mm bolt in place and then release it and then it shouldn't move okay so now all of that's done what we're going to do is we're going to put the bottom cover back on that plastic cover and then we're going to put that bracket back in that goes there literally and then We'll go do the rest. So as you can see, our cover's not on there. But what we're also going to do is we're going to fit that new tensioner for the auxiliary belt in that slot down there whilst we're here, just to get that out of the way. So as you can see, that's the slot there. And this bit needs to be lined up with it. So literally, we'll make sure it slots in there, like so. Then just need to catch that bolt. See, like so. It's going to tighten that up now. Then we'll move on to the next step. Now we're just going to fit this mount, refit this mount. You have to put this on before you literally put the cover back on. So we're going to need to jack the engine up to fit that back on. As you can see, now I jacked it back up. I'm going to slot that back on. Now this should fit. As you can see, I'm going to put it back together now back on make sure it's not touching the belt it shouldn't now be. we're just going to fit this cover back on now we're going to fit this engine mount just be careful when you're slapping it underneath this remember you can jack the engine up or down to make sure you can fit it underneath here as long as this bit gets underneath you'll be able to fit it I'm just going to do that now as you can see it's back on now just need to put the bolts in the reason why i couldn't show you me putting it in is obviously because i'm using my phone I also need both my hands to actually move all the wires out of the way, all the fuel lines and 
also aircon pipe to get it in place. So don't forget to do up these bolts. There's one, two, three, four bolts. There's 16 size 16 sockets. And the same down there, there's three on this side. Don't forget to put this bracket back on. Remember I told you about the aircon pipe? And this nut, and also this bolt. The bolt goes there, and the nut goes down there. Onto that, that this actual pipe further down there and onto a bracket. Okay, so as you can see, all of that's done now. The fuel lines are all connected back together as well. And I'm literally gonna fill up more cooling in there. Then we're gonna need to bleed the system as well. well. Obviously I need to fit the new crankshaft bolt and also the crankshaft pulley and the auxiliary belt and remove the locking tool from the crank. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove this crankshaft bolt. I'm gonna fit a new one in there. Put the crankshaft, put it back on. As you can see, make sure the wooden screw is sitting like so. And put this bolt in. And then tighten it up. Now we're going to torque it. As you can see, that's now back on. I literally had to use both my hands to put it on, that's how I couldn't show you, but obviously it was the reverse of how I took it off basically earlier on. So if you just check on the video, you'll be able to see how to put it on. So literally just push the vent, put the 30 mil socket on there and just push it that way. So now I'm just gonna fit this bracket back on. As you can see, literally it needs to slot at the top. There and then this slots there. So, as you can see, that's one of the bleed nipples. I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally down there. As you can see, right in the corner there, there's also another one on that pipe down there. You just need to open them to wait for the water to be flowing through them. As you can see, the water is starting to flow, as you can see, like that. Okay, let's start the engine now. As you can see in here, it's purring like a cat. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for further content on my channel. Stay blessed. Keep on rolling.